What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, feel free to share this brief video as well. Everything I state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact, my own personal opinion and observation. So, I am going to briefly give my opinion on Tia Molly. Mallory. Hope I pronounced her name right. <laughs> she did an interview recently and she's catching a lot of slack. She said men nowadays, they don't like to date. They don't like to coordinate, cord you. They like to just talk to different Keisha's, this and that. And she gave her ex-husband praise on how he dated her, how he pursued her. And now all of a sudden, people from Twitter are giving her backlash from that. And she's responding back to them. And I asked myself this question. If she did not feel some sort of way about her decision she decided to make, there's no way Tia, TV star, actress, will be responding to people on Twitter arguing, going back and forth with them because they're telling her the decision you made. Do you think that that was the right decision? Now you're on here, look at you. You know, and she's responding back. So obviously she's in her feelings. There's no way on God Green's earth would this woman be responding back to people had she not second guessed her decision she made? She wanted to so bad. She listened to all these rappers like Sexy Red, who would never be married, who rap about Hot Girl Summer. Those Hot Girl Summer is a myth. You wanted to jump outside so bad off the porch. You should have went to couples therapy. You should have went to counseling. You should have expressed when your husband and you had him. At the end, when you were willing to walk away, he said, what is it I need to do? I want to fix my family. And you were over it. And now for the holidays, you have to see your sister and her husband and the kids and that dynamic. And you're not thinking about how your kids going to be, feel being around. Now, if he did cheat, we don't know that for sure. To be honest, it's not the public's business, but you are a public figure. And it's different accusations that were out here saying he cheated saying he started feeling himself when he got a role, but nothing was ever verified. Nothing was ever proven. So now it just looks like you walked away from a marriage because you wanted to experiment. You wanted to feel yourself and you didn't think about you're in your forties. You're a newly divorced woman with two young kids. Any man with a higher caliber that's in a high ranking valuable men will think twice before dating you because you're a busy woman. You have two kids you have to attend to. They're probably in sports. You're probably booked and busy doing parts, roles, whatever you're trying to do. Your kid activities at school. It's not enough time for you to be there in a spare moment with those type of men because they're busy as well. If anything, they're going to try to pursue someone that is younger, more flexible, maybe one child or maybe a grown, grown children. So they don't have that obligation or even just dating you, being a newly divorced woman, they don't wanna attach themselves to you like that. And they, what if they change their mind or it's not working out and they've been around you and they possibly met your kids once or twice. So everything that you thought it was gonna be, everything that glitters in reality is not gold. The people that rap about how good it is to be single and this and that are actually wifed up. Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and the other girls that want to be wrapped up, that rap about Hot Girl Summer, they will never have a ring. They will never be married. So at the end of the day, you sacrificed your marriage, your dignity, your moral code, everything that you stood for, from your innocence, from your show, to step outside and realize everything that you thought was outside in reality was in your house. It's one thing if he did cheat or it just couldn't work no matter what, but you should have realized and you should have talked to your sister and probably people that's been married for years. You're going to have days where you cannot stand each other. You're going to be in one room. He's going to be in one room. He's going to be your worst enemy. He's going to be your best friend. It's going to be highs. It's going to be lows. It's going to be one level all the time. 
everything falls in place and it stays there. And that's how a relationship is over time. And you fail to realize that. You still was thinking in your young mentality of you being in your 20s. You're thinking, I'm Tia. You're not Tia and Tamara from your show. You're Tia, who's newly divorced, who's in her middle 40s, mid-age, and she has two children. You have more of a responsibility than you had being younger when you were free. And you putting yourself out there, I'm thinking even just going on this show to say, hey, I'm Tia. I'm still single, you guys. I did the TikToks. No one's knocking on my door. No, Tia. Men of a higher value are thinking twice before they pursue you. They know, yes, you are courting to get married. You're not courting just to have fun. And it's clear that you say that in these interviews. And if someone does court you, that is younger than you, more than likely he's doing that based off of sexual needs. He's doing that based off of motive. So now you're in a tight spot. When you do make decisions like this, that's rational. And you sit on a show and you think back and you give your husband all the praise, all the glory. And you let the world know the type of guy he was when he, in the beginning. That should have let you know that, wow, so he did have intentions in the beginning and things does change over time. What can I do to spice this back up? What can I do to get this spark in his fire? You had him at the end. He would have did whatever. He wanted to save his family. He said that on several occasions. But you wanted to go outside. But you didn't realize outside was just a myth. There was never a hot girl summer. All of that glitter was not gold. All of that hot girl summer was just for females that wanted to sleep around with NBA players or were single that'll never be wise, never get a ring, or just pretending like that life is just so fun because that's all they can have. That's all they would ever have. They would never have the status of a wife. And you're in your mid-40s with children and you're thinking that that is the life. That is good. That's fun. That looks cool. In reality, when we decide to say I do, we decide to have children. It's not about us anymore. It's not about what we want. It's about making things right. And yes, things do get still and born in marriages and relationships. That's life. As we get older, our moods change. Our knees freaking crack. Things change. And even if you're inside young and you're feeling free and stuff like that, share that with your husband. Explore different options. But to walk away from a marriage that you could have possibly fixed, was that the answer? And now it wasn't just about you, it's about your children who will be around your sister's children during the holidays and their father's not there. Unless you're going to continue to keep him around and and pretend as though everything's okay, like your children doesn't feel the absence of him not being home daily. Or what about when he starts finally dating someone else and move on and he actually really liked this person? Then you're going to be at home sitting alone by yourself. In that very moment, you're going to say, wow, he looks happy. He looks young again. I remember when he used to court me I bet you he's doing that with her. I wonder where he's taking her. I wonder, are they going to his favorite restaurant? I wonder, are they doing this? All that is going to be on your mind because you know in reality, you could have fixed this. You could have held on. You could have did everything you could to bounce back from this. When you say, I do, that should be the last resort of walking outside before trying to amend or fix your marriage, if it could be fixed. I am Ashley D. Please leave your opinion down below what you think. I will be speaking with each and every one of you soon. Take care. Bye.